There are two different ways how to install apps on the Mac. The first one and the most obvious is to just go to App Store, browse through the categories and once you find the app you want, you can open it, get it or buy it if it's a paid app. Once you click on it, it's all done and the app will appear in your applications folder. You can see it in the launchpad as well. But here I want to focus more on the apps you download on the internet from the third party developers. There are still so many applications which are missing on the App Store. The most common one is Google Chrome or VLC, Zoom and many other. You can install these apps from the disk images you download from the internet. But I will not talk around, I will show you on an example. Before I mentioned Google Chrome. So let's go to the official Google website, search for Google Chrome and download it. Here you can click on the download button and wait for it to finish downloading. If it's the first time you're downloading from here, it's going to ask you for permission to download from this site. So just confirm it. Then it downloads the file into your downloads folder. You should have the downloads folder down here in the dock so you can see the file there. But if you don't have your downloads folder there, you can always navigate to that from your finder sidebar. Usually when you download a file from the internet, it's gonna be a zipped file. But it's not a problem on the Mac. You can just double click it and it will decompress the file. But still, it doesn't really look like an app. Why? Because it is not an app. This is just a disk image. You can see it on the file extension. So what is the disk image? Disk image is type of file which pretends to be a drive. It's something like a USB drive or your external storage which you plug into your Mac. But this is not a physical drive. It's just a disk image. When you double click it, it will open it up. It might take a while because Mac is verifying if everything is okay with all of the files downloaded from the internet. But then it will open in this new window and also there will be disk image opened on the desktop. Well, this is already an actual app. You can double click it to open it. But I wouldn't do that. That's not the right way how to install the applications. And if you afterwards close the disk image, you will lose access to the app as well. What you need to do instead is one simple step. Just click on that icon and drag it to the folder which you see down here. That's your shortcut to the applications folder. It's also called alias. And really all you need to do is to just drag it there and it will install it into your applications folder. I will actually not drop it there because I already have Google Chrome installed, so I don't need to double it up. But if you open your applications folder from Finder, you can find it right here. Now once we are done with installing, we have to do two more things. First, we should eject the disk image. You can do it by right clicking the icon on the desktop or simply click on this button in the Finder sidebar. And the second step is to get rid of the installer we have in the downloads. We really don't need it anymore, so it's good to drag it to the bin. There is no point of keeping these old installers. If you ever need to reinstall this application, it's always better to download a newer version from the web than keeping your old installers. Now you can start using your new apps. It was really easy to install it. And it's not so much harder to uninstall it, even though there are few different techniques how to properly do it without leaving any traces. But I'll leave that for another video. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.